Okay, guys. Tonight, tonight, we're going to be frank. This right here is Ed Leo Scallon's replica. He built a magnetic wheel. They have um, rumors out there that um, it was to make electric in his house. It was also to have rumors out there that it levitated. And there's also word out there that it was able to do things that nothing in that time was able to do. This is after Tesla, before Einstein started putting his theories out there. I got to be frank with you guys. I've been doing my videos and showing you guys stuff and just really staying very absent-minded on stuff here, but um, only because I wanted to really be frank tonight. What we have here, and I'm going to show you step by step, and also we're going to build it together. We're going to build this machine together because what we have right here I'm going to go through a couple details, and um, we're going to put this together mentally, and then physically on another video, I'll show you guys how this thing works and what it really does. Uh, I've been doing a lot of tests with it, a lot of different turning the magnets in, turning the magnets out, um, charging the block. Down here, you got this, just a Ford Escort 2002. <laughs> beat down block motor block right here we'll go through the process and uh, you guys will understand now looking at all my videos why you're only getting so much because I think at the time of experimental stuff why put anything out there <laughs> you all know uh, what happens when you put stuff out there so we're just going to go through a few things right now and pretty much from the start here you got the basic flywheel down bottom um, you, you also have 120 Model T Ford. These are roughly between 1910 to 1914 uh, Model T Ford V magnets that um, I had a friend tell me that um, Seth, uh, who also builds these and sells these as replicas, uh, he had mentioned that he had... Um, taken one of these magnets and sent them off uh, to a friend of his in a university and uh, all the makeup of the metals were known except for three. Three, at that time, they didn't know what they were. So it tells you that uh, Henry Ford was on top of his game when he was uh, building, he was using these for the his uh, charging system for his Model T Fords, um, a gentleman by the name of Edward Huff is a uh, um, electrical engineer that um, used to work for Ford, and uh, he came up with the uh, charging system because uh, back in the day they used to use uh, dry cell batteries and they only had a certain shelf life. But uh, getting back to the to what we have here, now, so you got your V magnets here, and uh, just so you, some of you who are new to the videos here and just checking them out for the first time, these um, are offset, south and north, north, south, north, south, north, south. Now, for those of you who read Edlia Scallon's Magnetic Current, excuse me there, <laughs> who read the magnetic current, um, he doesn't really talk much about this wheel. Uh, for any of you out there that would like to leave um, um, comments, um, it's time now to leave your comments. And I'm not talking about positive, negative. Forget about where you are as garage physicists. We all are. Trying different things, different ideas. Wherever you are mentally, 
pick apart the wheel. Now it's time to talk about it and start doing test on this sucker. Whether we fill it with water, whether we add different coils inside, only because the comments is going to help the, the finished process. But what we have here, you got your you got your V magnets here, and they're all offset north south. So what you really have on the outside of this is you have a, a magnetic field that's running north south south north <clears throat> and running out and making like a flower. Okay, it's making a flower. Now you start putting this thing in motion. What happens to the flower, guys? You all know what happens to the flower. Come on, give me that magnetic flux. You know what's going on. So you create this circle, and what's, what's happening also is you're driving back the positive energy, and you're pushing up the negative energy. And what's happening is you're having, like, if I take metal shavings and put them on my hand, what's going to happen is they're all going to go back this way. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pulling but also I noticed that it also has a great push. And when you have that magnetic flux on the outside, what you do is you create something that would be known as an atom. And what we have here is, does anybody out there know anything about human blood cells? Well, a blood cell is identical to an electrical circuit. It has the same functions as this machine. There's lessons to be learned here. Th this machine is just not what you see as a stator. It's not what you see as something is going to make electric. What, what, what we have here, the blood cell, like electrical circuit, has a nucleus. And the nucleus is a positive charge. And the outside shell of that blood cell is a negative charge. And the blood cell has the same makeup as electrical system. It has capacitance. It also has induction. It has the same makeup as what this machine has here. Ed was trying to show everybody that how to make a mechanical atom. Once you understand how this atom works, now, um, let me give kudos out there, my boy, Mike from space. Now, what we are doing here is we're putting an outside shell of a positive and negative, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to send a charge to the inside coil. And the inside coil will be charged positively and then what you have on these v-shaped magnets what makes these things really unique is that um, they're neutral allows that upper ring that ed has what he does is he puts a negative charge on that ring and that ring that travels around here is charged negatively the coil is charged positively and then you have your neutral is coming in because what happens is when you turn this wheel and you create this force now you already have magnets tuning in and there's no keepers on here you notice that if anybody knows anything about keepers now they're there to make the connection but once you make this wheel start spinning it creates its own connection on the outside and starts driving that magnetic flux on the outside. Looks like um, looks like a sunflower seed. It's got it's got the 
the, the, the life. It's got the circles. And what, what goes on there is it accelerates its speed in there. These neutrals stay neutral. They charge up right above here. It, you see paper because Ed had, I have noticed, you know, through going back and forth to Coral Castle that there was something in the makeup of the cement. And what I noticed was there was a paper, some type of paper that was stopping this ring from touching these V-shaped magnets. So what does that tell you? Leave your comments. Leave your comments. Everybody who sees these videos, and there's a lot of people going on these videos now, the comments that they're leaving can only help for all of us to put this together because I think once you put the negative charge in the ring, you got the positive charge, and then there, if you notice, there's a little key that it has sticking out. And the key comes over to a spot like around here where I have this hole, and there's two spheres. And these spheres, one is placed here, one is placed right about back here. The, the common sense thing that tells me, leave your comments, guys, that he created a positive and a negative. And I don't know, to tell you the truth, why this would be possible if you're recreating an atom, a mechanical, physical atom. You would have to put a positive charge on the inside and a whole, this whole coil has to be filled where the, the positive charge is running upward. You're taking the negative charge and sending it out the opposite side of the wire down through the block. Now, this here is a replica of Ed's grounding pole. But mine has a little bigger diameter. Before I went to Coral Castle, I didn't realize that his was smaller. And I got the measurements. If you guys want to know the measurements, just leave a comment. But this ain't just a grounding pole. This whole thing here, its purpose is go back to the cell of your blood cells. In order for the center to... push out its power from the center being a positive charge has a push. It can't just push. It, it needs to be like a, a gentleman pushing his kid on a swing. Once you get that pushing going, what you have is you have a small push at the right time and it just keeps it going. And what you have here is the the blood vessel in order for it to live and survive and it's able to push out but it needs capacitance it need it needs it needs resistance so the capacitance would be the center part and of the charge which would be a positive charge and what it would do is it needs, when it releases, it can't release all at once. It needs capacitance. It needs resistance. And then what happens to the, re the resistance, it slows it down. Like if you took a hose and put all this water pressure through a hose, and all of a sudden, you know, you got to slow it down. So what it needs is it escapes through the neutral. And what happens is on the outside, it pushes you have the negative charge on the outside. It pushes to the negative charge. And what it does, it attracts to it. And then all of a sudden, it gives it time to recharge again, just like a capacitor. So what happens is it charges up in the center again. Bam, it lets go. When it lets go, it's slowed down through resistance. And then all of a sudden, it just lets out and it hits the negative charge because the negative charge is pulling it out. And it's able to re-put its energy back in. So back to this machine. So if we're center charging this coil with a positive charge. 
then what we have to do out of the key, it comes out here that goes to that sphere. That sphere is connected to the ring. And the ring, since it's connected to the sphere, at this point, I'm kind of lost because when it's connected to the sphere, if this side was the negative part, what happens is this this key that comes out is pretty much a spark gap. So if you have your center with the positive and then you have your negative going over with the ring, you're going to have them want to connect. And when they connect together, it's sending out a crazy magnetic flux. And because what you do is we're going to have to set up a timer. And what the P, this guy over here is the timer, guys. This right here with two coils on it, every time one of these positive and negative go past the front of these without the bar, it's going to change the pulse, positive, negative, positive, negative, in these coils. These coils are going to come out and go back to this machine. And what it's going to do is back on that key, Every time that passes this, which is going to have to be set up here as a coil that recharges the center. And the PMA, P <coughs> PMH, excuse me guys, this PMH is going to be the timer for this guy. Go back to this guy here. Edley Scallon, if you look on some of your videos I have, there's a something that looks like this with a white tubing in it. It's the same size that fits down in here. And if you think about some of Tesla's stuff with his Tesla coil, he's trying to emulate what an atom does. If you think about when you make a Tesla coil, what you're doing is you're sending out a high voltage then you're inducting to your coil and you're sending out the top with a round helix on top. You're sending out high voltage. Not even high voltage, but it's crazy because what it's really doing is looking for ground. It's looking for ground. Anyway, all right, so you guys pretty much got the logist of what we're doing here. And, you know, my other videos, you know, it was the start, the birth of all this. But the quest is, what the heck was he doing with it? Well, what, do you, what are you really creating when you create a f mechanical atom? Things to be learned. I want you guys to leave comments. Forget about all your craziness with, you know, do, you know, not do this, do that. But what we should do together is build it from here on and make this idea work because you guys, you all have different things going on, but you know when you put it all together, nothing gets better than this. You guys have a great night. Peace out. Raising my hand to the great Ed Leoscallon. Peace out.